Good Monday morning. It's time for another round of Ask Trooper Steve. And Steve, this morning we're talking about some lights on some different vehicles, city, state vehicles. Right, right. We had this question submitted from Martin of Winter Garden. Are there rules to when construction trucks can and cannot have their lights on? So I wanted to pair in, this is what we see. We see a lot of what's called POVs, personally owned vehicles, and they throw all these lights on them. And I'm not saying there are anything wrong, anything wrong with that. It's just when you can have them on and when you can't. So these amber lights on personally owned vehicles for construction workers to include tow trucks and city vehicles. I see this a lot with some local city trucks. You know, they forget that they're done doing their job and then they're driving around and then they have the strobe lights still going. These strobe lights and these amber lights can only be active while in their zone of work. So for construction workers, sometimes they've got more lights than some cop cars do, right. but they're for warning purposes. Believe me, when I was on the turnpike, my car lit up like a UFO. People made fun of me all the time for it, but you need them. You need them. Mm -hmm. However, when you're not working and you're not inside that zone, that's when they need to be shut off to include those city workers too. If you're just driving around the city, you need to have those off because you can get a ticket for it. Good clarification. All yeah. right, Steve, thank you very much. Ask Trooper Steve is sponsored by Alert Today Florida. Every pedestrian and bicyclist is important to someone. So stay alert because safety doesn't happen by accident. If you have a question you want to ask Trooper Steve, go to clickorlando.com slash asktroopersteve.